Today we're going to draw a bunny from a group of characters from Mo Williams' books, and I hope you enjoy. Let's check it out. All right, for this drawing, we're going to turn our paper uh, horizontally this time. We can get um, a little more room here, and it's easier to see, but it's also perfect because this bunny rabbit's going to look like he's flying through the sky. Maybe you want to add a cape. Maybe you want to make it look like he's being flung, or maybe it's diving off of a diving board. Either way, uh, draw with me. So the head of the bunny rabbit's kind of like the letter O, and we're going to put it over here on the right side of the page. That way we have room for the body as it's flying this way. So an O shape, all right? It doesn't have to be a perfect O shape, but try to make it about that big. And look where it's at. All right, I left room above and below it. Bunny rabbits have long ears. And we're gonna make this body long too, okay? All right, the nose is also a letter O. Maybe we want to say it's turned sideways, right? We can put a little circle in here to leave white and then we can color that in black. Also, we can draw a line going down. And notice how that line coming down is, um, is like a stuffed animal, right? But it's, it's curving. You want it to curve and kind of follow the shape of the curve of the side of the O. And then it also looks like it has stitches here where it's been stitched. Up here in the top, we got an eyeball. It's like a circle more than it's like an O. And then this eyeball over here, about the same size, and in the middle, a nice black dot. We can make them a little bit bigger. That'd probably make it more appropriate. All right, out of the top of the head, we're gonna start with the right and then the left ear. So, coming up out of the head, we're gonna come up, down, and back in. It's a little bit thicker out toward the end than it is down where it connects. All right, next to that, we're gonna make another ear coming way out about the same distance or a little longer. Remember, it's a little closer and it's gonna come out and down and then back in very similarly. So out, down, and back in. Good, all right. Here we have a couple details, some little lines in the head that come down. One here, one here, and now the body. All right, body starts, I'd say just a little below the nose, but right here, so we can put a little dot. You see how I put a little dot there? And then the other part of the body is gonna come around and connect, and it connects here just to the left of the mouth. All right, so I'm gonna bring it out, I would say probably only a little past the ears, really. Um, for its behind. Mm, okay, so this connecting to here, it's gonna kinda come out and up and down. A wavy line, right? Curve around like a C. And then we're gonna just bring that line right down and connect. So simple. All right, a C shape for his tail. Kind of a little flattened C shape here. U shape. Then we have a wavy arm. So the wavy arm just kind of comes out and then maybe a little longer. All right, and it's got floppy legs. Since he's flying through the air, we're gonna make it kind of like, uh, let's start here, right at the tail. Come up around and back down one and the other one's going to just come out a little bit below it and then it's kind of got ovals here for the feet and that's it all right you want to make it look like it's flying through the air all you have to do is add some lines here like it's zooming through the air right uh, how do you do that? Well, that's pretty easy. Okay, we can make it look like it's flapping its hand or arm or something like that just by a couple little lines here. You can make it look like it's falling down out of the sky just by putting a line here. There, now it looks like it's being thrown. 
Our bunny rabbits should be very easy to color. It's just three colors here for this. I might change up one and one more, maybe a lighter blue. I'd like to add a light, middle, and dark color when I'm coloring, so I have two yellows for this. The bunny rabbit's just a pale yellow color, and I just start filling it in. Try not to go over top of the Sharpie. If you did it in Sharpie, try not to cover it up with your colors. Um, sometimes we just want to scribble and color right over top of it. I do it even when I'm in a hurry. But um, slow down, take your time. Remember, you don't want to see white spots in the paper. You want to fill those in nice and solid. And this one won't take much time at all. This is the perfect partner for the pigeon we drew in one of our other videos. I think that's it. I think we're finished. I love it. I think it's a great addition to our Mo Williams collection. Uh, please um, take a second and read with your children. If you're watching this, spend some time letting them try to, to look at the pictures and tell you what they think is going on because the pictures do tell a story just as much as the words. Enjoy and keep on practicing.